This is part two of how to program your automatic generator start function from your Mate 3. AGS allows you to choose from six different gen start conditions. Not all have to be enabled, but all may be used at the same time. If you have selected DC generator, these start conditions are disregarded. Below the description, you will find recommended gen start settings. Scroll down to voltage start. Here you have three voltage start set points you may choose from, 24 hour, two hour, and two minute. If the battery voltage drops below the voltage setting, a timer starts counting down. When the timer reaches zero, a start command is sent to the generator to start. After the batteries have gone through a full charge cycle or the charger's absorb timer, AGS will command the generator to shut off. For example, if your charger settings are set to 28.8 volts absorbed for two hours, the charger must raise the battery voltage at 28.8 and maintain them for two hours. If the battery voltage drops below the absorbed set point, the timer stops counting down. Press up once and scroll down to load start. Load start will start the generator whenever the total AC load wattage exceeds the start set point for the programmed amount of delay time. The generator will stop when the AC load has dropped below a stop set point for the amount of delay time. When the generator is running because of this condition, the inverter charger will charge the batteries. However, unlike voltage start, it will not perform a full charge cycle. To enable, change the N to Y and enter the desired start-stop condition and delays. Press up once and scroll down to state of charge start. With the FlexNet DC, you may start and stop the generator based on its percentage state of charge and an optional enable full charge every interval time. To enable, change the N to Y and enter the desired start-stop conditions. Press up once and scroll down to Must Run Schedule. Must Run Schedule time is the daily period when AGS commands the generator to run. This is usually set because large loads are expected to be present. To enable, change the N to Y and enter the desired start-stop time. Press up once and scroll down to Quiet Time Schedule. This is a time period when the generator should not run. Note, two minute voltage start is considered to be an emergency start, therefore it will override quiet time. To enable, change the N to Y and enter the desired start stop times. Press up once and scroll down to generator exercise schedule. Exercise is a period of time when the generator is scheduled to run briefly. Consult with the generator manufacturers for the appropriate length and frequency of exercise periods. To enable, change the N to Y and enter the desired start time, run period and interval between 0 to 8 weeks. Alright, we are done programming the AGS settings. Press top once. To prevent any conflict with auxiliary settings, we need to adjust the auxiliary function of the device that we are utilizing to power the Gen Start Relay. From the main menu, go to Settings, Inverter, then Auxiliary Output. For the Radian Inverter Chargers only, you have the option for Auxiliary 12 Volt or Auxiliary Relay. Select Aux Mode and change it to Vent Fan and adjust the voltage to the highest number, 72 volts for 48 volt systems, or 36 volts for 24 volt systems. Okay, one more final step. Press top twice to go back to the home screen. Press the Gen Hot button from the Mate 3 and change the mode to Auto. Congratulations, you are all done. Thank you for watching.